hello guys welcome back to my channel i just wanted to come on and share this cute little spot that i went to for my anniversary me and my husband just celebrated 31 years of marriage woohoo oh what a great accomplishment and i can only give the glory to god because without him we would not still be here standing happily married so many people get married and are getting divorces so i definitely definitely do not take it lightly that god has blessed us to still be here together uh, after all of these years but this cute little spot that my husband took me to i've been mentioning it didn't even think he was probably listening to me i just mentioned it several times and so he surprised me by taking me to this place it's called the proper rose garden uh, it's outside of houston texas in a suburb called katie if you ever heard of katie but it's an asian uh it has a it may be asian european uh inspired desserts you can come here for brunch afternoon tea it's a great place to gather to socialize uh to bring your mother, bring your sister, or whoever. Me and my husband went together and just have a nice time together to drink tea. Um, we had light bites. I did not get the whole tea service because we had dinner later. So there are a lot of finger foods, a lot of light bites. It was a great ambience here. So you guys have to come and check it out. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the things we had and some of the light bites that we tried on the menu and some of the drinks that we had beside the tea. They do have other drinks that are there. So I just wanted to show you guys. Guys, forgive me if the music's a little loud, but it was loud music playing in the uh, restaurant, so I did not want to get a copyright on my YouTube video. So that's why you hear the music I have in the background music because I'm trying to drown it out, so you guys can kind of not I cannot get the copyright, and you guys can kind of hear me. So that is why the music is playing. So we wind up ordering the rose garden tea which is actually our fruity tea and it was a combination of fruity and sour hibiscus flavors with a light note of a floral rose and that was very very good and so um i usually never get the fruity tea i'm not really a fruity tea girl but that one sounds so good that i was i decided that i would get that and i'm glad i did i made a good choice on that one it was really good but uh yeah and the you can also, this is the good thing about them, you can also customize your tea to if you want to just have a little bit of sugar, you can go from 120% to if you just want 25%. It's up to you what you want. And not only did we make the selection with the tea, uh, with the proper rose garden, you don't necessarily have to get iced tea. There are other drinks that have this beautiful drink that you see me have here with those beautiful colors. Look at that, y'all. That's great. It was great. That is the blueberry lavender lemonade spritz. Oh my God. It was so good. It's a mocktail and it was great. I, I loved it. So we just wanted to get a variety and just kind of taste and see exactly what they had on the menu. Uh, we ordered light bites. We did not, like I said, get the whole entire tea service. We just got the finger foods and boy, do they have a large selection of finger foods that you can get. Uh, after looking at the menu, we decided we better start off with something. Uh, we, we started off with something first and just get one thing so we can see if that's gonna be enough to fill us up. But I'm telling you, the tea was great. It was wonderful. And look at that beautiful porcelain that is in. I mean, it created a whole atmosphere and I loved every bit of it. My husband is not enjoying with me too as well. I know it probably wasn't his favorite thing to do, but he decided to bring me and let me do it. Let me have enjoy the experience. But uh, yeah, it was wonderful. It was great. 
uh, after looking at the menu and the appetizers, we decided to order the Santa Fe egg rolls. Now guys, let me tell you something. Those Santa Fe egg rolls were really good. And when we ordered them, we thought, uh, maybe we gotta, we should just, uh, I'm glad we didn't order anything else at that point. We said, we'll start off with this because they were fairly large and they were very filling. So I'm not mad at any of the appetizers and the choices that they had uh, for uh, on the menu. And since it was almost happy hour, we said, well, we'll just wait to happy hour. And this is the great part. At happy hour, you can get the appetizers for half price. And so we were just enjoying every bit of this. As I said, the good thing is if you're not a tea drinker, you can still come here and have something that you can enjoy with the mocktails and the other drinks that they have. They have so many unique drink combinations that it's something for, for everybody. So you, if you don't like tea, you can always have one of the mocktails or one of the other mixed type of drinks that they have there. As I said, those eggs, egg rolls were very filling. On their menu, they had everything from fried tofu, they had calamari, um, they had uh, Cajun barbecue wings, they had all kinds of sweet potato fries, and uh, even they had something called a sticky fish sausage wings, fish sauce wings. And so, but we wind up ordering some more appetizers. It was like, okay, this is this is looking real good. So we wind up ordering the um, bacon Brussels sprouts. Now, let me tell you, the servings are large, so you're, you're not gonna get cheated on any of the appetizers when you order. We, we wind up ordering the bacon Brussels sprouts, and uh, we also ordered the dumplings. And because it was happy hour, wow, we got them for half price. And so we were just about to just go in and just get everything, uh, the hot chili edamame, the Parmesan garlic fries, uh, but it was great. Now, those are the dumplings. Those dumplings, let me tell you guys, those dumplings were so good. And as you could see, they did not skimp on the serving portions at all. Those bacon Brussels sprouts were served with like this balsamic type, um, caramelized type uh, uh, sauce and they were they were great the dumplings were fried to perfection I got to give it to them the food was good I got to give it to them the food was good uh, and the portions were quite uh, you got quite a lot it's, a, it's more than enough for two people to share as a matter of fact we were stuffed and we were just trying to eat it but I wind up even taking some home because it was so much and so it was a lot at a, a fairly reasonable price. I have went to had tea service before, but I did the whole tea service before, uh, not at this place, but at a different place. And it, and it was great too, uh, but it was quite expensive. But this is if you just wanna just go grab something with your girlfriends and just have a great time and sit and chit chat and just hang out, this is the place. And definitely go at happy hour where you, where you can get all of these beautiful drinks and, uh, and you'll get your appetizers for half price. So it was well, well worth the price that we paid for it. Look at that. Those Brussels sprouts were absolutely delicious. They were fried and the bacon that was in it, I'm telling you, it was really good. Um, and th there were so many selections. They also did have salads. They had tea sandwiches and all of that. And as I said, I did not get that because we had dinner later later on. But the menu is extensive. There's desserts. Uh, there's pastries. Uh, there's all kinds of all kinds of unique things that they have. And the place is beautiful. It was beautifully decorated. Uh, and as you can see, I'm showing you around the building. It was very it was very beautifully decorated. And uh, the ambiance was great. The music was kind of a little loud. I would 
say turn the music down a little bit so I can create more create more of an environment for having tea. But if you just want to go in and grab, and I, I see this as a place where you go with your girlfriends and just have a great time. So it was wonderful. Um, Proper Rose Garden, you did a great job on that. Uh, but I, I see it as more of it was much smaller than what I thought. I see it as more of a place to just go and hang out. But if you really want tea, tea, like, you know, I really didn't get the ambience for that. But it is a great place. So me and my husband enjoyed ourselves. It was a great place to go for a nice little uh, lunch or brunch or whatever for afternoon tea. It was our anniversary, so it was something just fun and nice and quaint to do. And it was very cute, very romantic. And so thank you guys uh, for joining me on the show as I continue to bring you more content on lifestyle, travel, cooking, and inspiration. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.